Hello, hello. This is Carrie Schroeder coming at you for the North American Patristics Society annual meeting with a lightning talk. And this is a lightning talk, so I'm going to be talking fast. But good news for you is that the slides and the video will also be on our YouTube channel for the foreseeable future. So you can go back and replay and rewatch and check it out as much as you'd like. What's new in digital Coptic studies is the topic, and there are a lot of projects that have been doing great stuff over the past couple of years. Coptic Scriptorium is the project I'm involved in and we'll be talking about most, but we have partnerships with all of these folks. I'll be talking about our online dictionary, our digitized texts or corpora, natural language processing, entity recognition, and working with us. So the Coptic Dictionary Online is an awesome online dictionary that you can use to search for an entry in Coptic, a Coptic term. You can also search the definition. So if you know a term in English, you can't remember the term in Coptic, there you go. And you can also quick search anything in the entry or the definition, and you can use wildcard characters. So if you are looking for something that begins with one letter and ends with another, you can use wildcards to get all the results. Maybe you don't know the beginning of the word. Maybe there's a lacuna. You can use wildcards to find all the options that are in our dictionary. The lexical data comes from our partners at the Thesaurus Lingua Aegyptia and the database and dictionary in Greek loanwords in Coptic, both projects in Berlin. And the infrastructure and lexical updates come from us as well as our partners. One super cool thing is that the entries include Egyptian and Greek vocabulary, and that Greek vocabulary has links to the Perseus online entries. Check it out. You also can find all instances of the term in Coptic Scriptorium's database of corpora. Just click on that red C and you will get taken to our database and a search for that term in all of our texts. Speaking of digital corpora, What's new in our database? We've got a new partnership with the Coptic Magical Papyri Group and have a few papyri online now from uh, Magical Papyri Online. We've got canons from Appa Johannes, from our partnership with the Göttingen Old Testament Project and Diliana Atanasova uh, and her digital editions of these codices. We've got Saints Lives, we've got Pseudo Athanasius, lots of good stuff, check it out. And you can read it in lots of forms, which I'm not going to spend a lot of time on because this is a lightning talk. You can search the database for all um, of our texts and annotations. So not just words, but annotations for parts of speech, lemma, language of origin, information about the text known as metadata or any combination of these. And sample queries and tutorials are all at Coptic Scriptorium. Check it out if you've never used our database or if you need a little refresher. All those annotations are created using our natural language processing tools. Our newest tools are our parsing and dependency syntax annotation tool, which creates tree banks or dependency syntax. Also new, new, really new is our entity recognition tool, which identifies both named and unnamed entities. All these annotations are searchable in the database, and you can even see if the text in the database, if those annotations are purely from our tools or whether a human expert has checked those annotations. You can use those tools as well yourself in our online web interface, or if you've got lots of text, you can use the API. Hit us up for information about the API. So on entities and entity recognition, we've got uh, a tool that will now identify both named and unnamed entities uh, in various different types of entities, abstract entities, animals, people, places, objects, time, events. So for example, here in this image, this is Shanuta's text, not because a fox barks. And you can see fox in the first line has a little paw print next to it, indicating that it's an animal entity. Clouds are abstract entities. The human figure are people. You can browse the entities, search for the entities in our corpora, 
play around with visualizations of our entities on our website and read more about our tool in our publication. Last, if you're interested in working with us, um, if you have a Sahidic Coptic text that can be published online, open access, please get in touch if you'd like to publish it online. If you wanna keep up with your Coptic by editing or correcting our annotations that are machine produced, please let me know. Or if you teach Coptic and are interested in ideas or activities for the classroom, again, let me know. Thank you so much. I wanna end by thanking all of our team and our awesome funders. You can find more information about that on our website as well. Take care.